Welcome to Action Coaching. I'm delighted that you joined me on tonight because I know that God has a special word for you. Now, Action Coaching is designed to coach the God-given potential that's already in you, out of you, because God has so many great things in store for you. Before I plunge into our lesson on tonight, I want to encourage all of you to be a part of my marketing team. You said, what is your marketing team? Well, if one person tell another person and another person tell another person, then everybody will know about Action Coaching. So I certainly want to encourage you to reach out to others via the social media platform and let them know that they need to tune in to Action Coaching because there are things that need to be coached out of all of us. And none of us make it on our own. God always sends somebody along to help coach us so that our full potential can come forth. So we are certainly thanking God for you being with us on tonight. Now, I'm going to talk for the next several weeks and several sessions about action vision. I'll say that again about action vision. We're living in a time of a great pandemic, and we all are understanding what is going to be our next step. What are we going to do next? Some people are losing jobs. Some jobs are closing. Society in itself has changed. Travel has changed. Our relationships have changed. When we get together, all of that has changed. But however, this is a great opportunity for people to have a vision. After all, everything is changed in life through a vision. Think about it. One man had a vision that man could fly. And based on that vision, now we have jets, we have spacecraft, and all of these things that fly is all started with a vision. And through these sessions, I'm going to show you how you can have an action vision, how you can put your dream in action, and God is going to cause you to explore things that you never thought you would explore before. Now, certainly we are going to be sharing with you principles on how to put your vision in action. And when you exercise these principles, God is going to begin to direct you as to how your vision can come to pass. In the scripture in Genesis 15, in verse number one, the scripture says, after these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Now the scripture in 15 and 1 says that God came to Abram in a vision. The bottom line is, when he came to him in a vision, he told him that his seed would cover the earth, that his dream and his vision, and the vision God had gave him, that as a result of that, his seed would cover the earth. Now, Abraham had a little problem with that, seeing that, first of all, he said, Lord, I go childless. I don't even have a seed to cover the earth, so you're saying that my seed is going to cover the earth. So many times when you get a vision, I know a lot of you are like me saying, well, first of all, I don't even have the resources to have a dream like that. But God began to show Abraham in a vision how this was going to come to pass. Now, let's give a definition of a vision right quick. The dictionary says the meaning of vision is is the faculty or state of being able to see. How can one be able to see? It says the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or 
wisdom. So a vision is being able to see the unseen. Now it's exciting to have a vision. And I want to explain to you how vision works. There are things that are in store for you that you haven't even saw yet. But however, God got to give you a vision of those things so that you can begin to fulfill your destiny. Now, God says to Abraham, man, your seed is going to cover the earth. And Abraham said, I go childless. How many of you have had a dream? But you saw the dream and you start thinking about the things you don't have. I don't have the money. I don't have the education. I don't have the ability. Nobody in my family has ever done it before. And there are so many factors that come in to cloud your vision. So what God had to do to Abraham is he said, seeing that you cannot understand what I'm saying, Let me take you outside. Now, a lot of times in order for all of our visions to come to pass, we got to get outside ourselves. Sometimes life can put you in a little box and you think you're supposed to to stay in that box. But however, there are times in life that you got to get outside the box. Or as I like to say, If your box is too little, then you need to get a bigger box. So sometimes God will drive you outside yourself. Due to events in life or whatever, certain things will drive you outside yourself. Somebody said, well, what do you mean by being driven outside myself? God took Abraham outside and he said, look at the stars. And he told him, the stars represent a picture. And he said, can you count the stars? Obvious, no one that has ever looked up at the stars can count the stars. And he began to say to him, that's the size of your vision. You're not going to be able to count the things that I'm going to do for you. And that's what an action vision will do for you. See, it's nothing that you dream that you haven't already saw. I like to say it this way. When you went, when uh, years ago, I remember during that time, this is before they got Netflix and all of the streaming service. They used to have a place named Blockbuster Video. Maybe many of you have not heard about Blockbuster, but Google it. But anyway, Blockbuster was a place where you went to rent movies. You go in Blockbuster and whatever movie you desired to rent, then Blockbuster was the place that you rented the movie. So you go in there, if it was Westerns you wanted to see, if it was horror stories you wanted to see, If it was action and adventure you wanted to see, they had a section for every one of those movies. Now, when I went in there looking for a movie, I would go to the section that I wanted for the movie that I desired. God spoke to me concerning vision one time. He says that when I went in Blockbuster, he said, well, I was looking for movies that had already been recorded, already been done. I wasn't looking for anything for them to make. The movies had already been done. So here is an advice that I want to give to you in my first point. When you get outside of yourself, you will be able to see bigger things for yourself. That's what vision does. It comes and it shocks you because it wants to take you outside of yourself. God has created us to dream the impossible dream, to strive for things that seem too great to grasp. But that's what a vision is. 
Because God said, if you can do it yourself, it's not a vision. I won't get any glory out of it if you can do it yourself. But God is saying, once I take you outside and you can see it, the minute you can see it, it's already done. Whatever we can see, we can achieve. Whatever we believe, it's already done. So first of all, you got to get outside yourself. It don't matter how you were brought up, what education you have, even how much money you have, everything can be so messed up. But if you can get outside yourself, God can give you a vision and you can begin to move toward your destiny. Now, God takes Abraham outside and show him the stars. And once Abraham saw the star, then he began to see the strength of his seed. Later on in that 15th chapter, it goes on to say, Abraham believed God. In other words, for a vision to come to pass, it's not other people you got to convince. It's yourself first. And Abraham believed God, and the scripture says it was counted unto him as righteousness. Now, what does the term believe mean? In my second point, people think believe is that if I just hope in my mind hard enough, then I know that this is going to come to pass. But that's not what believe means. So many people have had the wrong information about believing. But I'm going to tell you what believe means. Believe means that you take action. Most of us have cars. If you don't have a car, maybe you ride the transit system. But some shape or form, whether it's an airplane, whether it's a boat or anything, the reason you drive your car or fly an airplane because you believe that the car is going to take you where you want to go. The airplane is going to take you where you're going to want to go. But however, we know you believe in them because in order to believe that the car will take you where you want to go, you got to first take the action and buy a car or rent a car or have a car because you believe. Believe is what actions you're going to take. Now, all of the time when you take action, the necessary things that you need for your dream to come to pass may not be available at first, but it's not about them being available. It's about you taking the action. In my own life, I was sitting in my house and God showed me in a vision, word in action. Now, I didn't know what word in action meant, but I did know what action meant. Action meant that I had to get up and do something. But now just saying I'm going to get up and do something is not necessarily action. How many people in life have been procrastinating so long? They've been saying what they're going to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to eat better. I'm going to live better. I'm going to speak better. I'm going to rejoice better. And they just constantly say what they are going to do. But that's different than belief. Belief is when you say it, you do it. When God told me to take action, I took action. Now, I didn't know how everything was going to work out, but that wasn't my problem. The issue was I had to take action. And I began to take action. Somebody said, what well, the action? Well, first, I got up off of my bed there in the house, and I went looking. I went looking to see what God had in store for me. But if you have a vision, praise the Lord, then you have got to take action. Believe means taking action. When you look in the scripture, everybody that got a miracle from God had to do 
something. Even when Moses opened the Red Sea, they had to first get to the Red Sea and believe that they can go across. Even, praise the Lord, many examples. The woman with the issue of blood in the book of Mark, the scripture says she heard of Jesus, but she had tried doctors for 12 years, so that meant she was taking action. And when she heard of Jesus, she just thought, oh, well, this is another doctor. I'm going to go try him. And the scripture records that she pressed through the crowd to touch the hem of his garment and she got made whole. That's belief. Belief is different from procrastination. Procrastination keeps you stuck in one place. But belief gets you up and gets you moving and you must believe. Believe is an action. My third point. In this action vision series, I'm sorry, but we're going to be talking about it in weeks to come. First of all, you got to get information or wisdom. If I'm believing that God called me to set up ice cream parlors all over the world, then I might want to first know about how ice cream come into existence or how my ice cream is going to be different. I might need wisdom as to what do I need in the ice cream store or the things that I need to make my dream come to pass. So many times people want to have a dream and just run and don't even get the necessary wisdom so that their dream can come to pass. So God wants to give you wisdom. So there are certain experiences you got to go through. If you want to be a basketball player, a football player, or if you want to be a medical doctor or whatever, you got to get the wisdom first. You just can't get up and say, well, I want to be a medical doctor or I want to be a basketball player. No, you got to find out the wisdom of your vision before you can take that step. So when God told me about word in action, then I had to go get wisdom on what would it take to put the word in action. And as a result of me getting the wisdom, then God allowed me to begin to put the word in action. The scripture says that even though, praise the Lord, you don't know where you're going and, and, and so many times in life, people go through so many roads. But the bottom line is that you got to take action and you got to have wisdom to know where you're going. I knew that God had called me to the ministry and I had to get the necessary wisdom in order to be effective in the ministry. So we're excited about talking to you about action vision because I'm closing with this point. We're living in a time now where many people are going to start seeing visions and are going to be millionaires. They're going to open up a whole new way of doing things. This is the time for vision and God want to speak to you so you got to get outside yourself. You got to move. You've got to do it because some ideas are going to be effective that you thought about years ago, but the time has come now. And God is giving vision because we living in the age of imagination. What do I mean by the age of imagination? Who would have thought that some of the things we use now Years ago, people dreamed about it, but they didn't even think it was possible. So God got a divine vision in you, and he's going to spark your imagination, and you're going to begin to dream and fulfill your vision. Now, I thank God for this teaching, and it's going to be a blessing to so many people. So you need to encourage others to tune in for Action Vision these next several weeks because they too are going to be blessed. I am a living example that not only do visions come to pass, 
but dreams come to pass also. If you can see it, you can have it. If you can believe it, you can have it. Well, certainly I thank God for the teaching on today. I certainly want to encourage you to support the work that we are doing here through Action Coaching. There's a link in my bio that will give you an opportunity to give unto Action Coaching so that we can continue blessing people around the world. People need a right now word and they need a word that they can understand so that they can begin to act on the principles of God. After all, it is our desire to coach you up. So I want to challenge you in this time, sow a special seed. And when you sow into the Lord's work, the Lord will open up doors for you. He will begin to bless you. And I certainly thank God for your financial support of the work that we are doing here on Action Coaching. Well, I'm certainly excited about this series that we're going to be doing the next few weeks. And I know that you're going to begin to dream again because God got a vision for you and you're going to be able to act upon it. Well, the Lord bless you. I certainly enjoy sharing with you. Join me next week for Action Coaching and get some more information about Action Vision. Remember, share the word with a friend and keep the word in mind.